What's up vlog? Today is February 20th. I know I've been gone for like so long but it's for a good reason and I have so much to tell y'all just as far as life updates and how everything been going and just give y'all you know the new scoop whatnot. So I'm gonna take y'all with me today because I'm back at it and I'm gonna just show y'all where the day take us point blank period like we're gonna have a good day we're gonna have an amazing day we're gonna have a blessed day we're gonna thank god for waking us up this morning and we're just gonna go with the flow and we're just gonna practice stewardship in this season that's what we're gonna do okay because baby just hold stead like just just hold that faith okay just just hold steadfast in your faith like point blank period Let's be kind to others. Let's compliment somebody. Let's give back. Any small gesture that'll, you know, just bring about big change in the world at some point. Y'all, I'm so excited for today. Grateful for today. And humble with everything that's been going on. With everything that's been happening. In a good way, though. And I'm excited. Like, I'm proud of myself. And, like, that when I say I'm excited, I'm proud of myself. Like, putting my best foot forward. So, I'm going to start rambling on, and we just going to get to it. I'm not even going to make no to-do list, because whatever comes, comes. Whatever goes, goes. Point blank, period. Okay, y'all. So, big view. Y'all, I moved today. So I got my own place now, and y'all, this is the kitchen area. Like, it's so freaking cute. Like, I don't know, this cabinet right here, it's like so much space in there. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it. So much freaking space in And then the room, I'm gonna have to get like a lamp because it's no actual. And then the freaking closet, y'all, the closet. And this is just the closet in the room because it got a lot of closet space. Like, it has a lot of closet space in it. And then it got this closet, which is like a lot of space, y'all. And then it has another closet, too. Yeah. This is like a simple look, in it, y'all, but. And then I'm bringing my bed and stuff tomorrow when I get help moving it. And then this is the mirror. It's a good size mirror, honestly. And then you got the toilet and the tub and everything. I'm probably changing the shower here because y'all like, definitely like, getting changed. I don't like that like big thing right here. Like the guy was in here, he was like still putting the stuff, whatever, where it had to be. But so yeah, but y'all, I am grateful, like very grateful. And it's like really like no living room area, but I'm fine with that because I don't really like having company. Like and then the fridge is not nice. The fridge is not y'all, y'all know, y'all know. I just like what we got in here. So <laughs> it ain't no food in here. It, it ain't no food in here. No, I'm not gonna lie. It ain't no food in here. Like I literally just came. I got the key earlier, but I had to go do something, so I didn't actually come inside. So yeah, y'all. I am so freaking grateful because y'all yeah, work so hard like to get to where I'm at and I feel like now I have like so much to show for it and not even being like materialistic like as far as like peace and you know the capability and stuff like just to do the stuff that I've done and give myself the life that I've wanted to give myself like y'all uh, I am grateful I'm grateful and then we got this stuff right here so we could clean and stuff while we're here you know before i bring every like my bed and stuff like the big stuff and then i bought a tv i bought a new tv because my old tv it like broke like it's not too bad but yeah so the kids could just like play the game on it like they could keep it and play the game on it so yeah it's just not to be wasteful but yeah i am happy i'm grateful like i worked so hard for this y'all like i went so hard for this and 
it was definitely a journey like when i tell y'all uh, this whole apartment hunting thing really taught me patience okay like it taught me patience like it taught me how to be content and just you know how to take rejection and just know that it's god's protection sometimes and majority of the time because they do everything i before but i'm just gonna get into this so we can start doing what we need to do and you know i forgot to mention i'm gonna do like an unboxing of everything like a majority of everything that i have because i have a lot of stuff like i was ordering stuff like over the month so there's a lot of stuff y'all like to unpack to unbox like about it's a lot more boxes where this came from like i don't even know what's in there like, y'all see all these packages like it's a lot of stuff Focus. Okay. So, y'all, I don't know what the heck is in these things, honestly. So, we just don't see. A good. I opened the first thing I needed, bro. What? The freaking garbage bags. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. This is what this is. Okay. I got these. It's 120, y'all. It's 120. And I think I got these for like. No more than I want to say like no more than fifteen dollars at most, probably if if I remember correctly. And then I got Clorox wipes. It's a three pack, y'all, and it was so cheap, but I can't remember how much it was. Amazon, we gonna see how this living because I don't know, but we gonna see how we gonna see if it's giving like clean or what. Like, oh, this is my bathroom stuff. The shower curtains are black. I cannot wait until like I decorate the bathroom. I'm sure that. Because the way that I want it, I like I'm I can't I say I can't wait because I want to see if it come out the way that I imagined it. Like. So we're gonna see. And then I got these little things like the shelves to go inside, the cabinets to go inside. It's like five pieces, I think, y'all. I don't know. Y'all know I had to go to Bath and Body Works because I had to get new wallflowers. So, yeah. This is an old one, though. Then I got two black ones because that's the aesthetic that I'm going for. But the silk one will probably go back in my room because that's where it was. And then one in the restroom and one in the main area. And then I got these pots because getting your pots, cool. Getting a pot. Oh, it's the garbage for the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> and then this box. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And you know what's crazy? I noticed like Amazon don't come with invoices. Like, yeah, this is the bathroom accessory set. It's ceramic. Like, it's a black ceramic set. It's cute, but yeah. And then I got like these um Pompeii things. I think this is the guy. I forgot exactly what they're called. Yeah. Pampas. Pampas. I got that in two colors. And this, I don't know. But, I know it's something for the bath. That's all I know. Now I'm about to start cleaning up. 
Two of y'all here for like freaking crazy, but got that good pencil. do the sink and then I gotta do the sink in a minute and then I start like putting the stuff the accessories in here so I know y'all I came inside yesterday to see so what was what and I had to order a shower rod so luckily I did come inside yesterday because then yeah I wouldn't have had a shower rod like <laughs> Hello, I think you got a problem in Houston man why what's he thing? still angry I got a motion sense of garbage can because oh, that's just filthy. <laughs> that's too filthy because now you're just doing stuff. And you, you, you know how I feel about when people just do stuff. bath mats I left them in the other bin remember the ones we had got from Burlington I, I'm, I am just I'm happy I'm grateful I really genuinely am uh, like you gotta start somewhere uh, you really do and like to be able to do stuff like this especially like on your own like physically in flesh is what I mean not in spirit like in the spiritual realm uh, it's truly a blessing like it's definitely a blessing like i don't take i don't take that for granted and i don't take that like <laughs> that I do have already so it just look like this I still gotta get towels for here I'll put tissue on here but I put the caddies up y'all they look so nice with this and then I got the I actually have bath mats but I left them in the other bin y'all I left them in the other bin I did so yeah but this is how this look y'all it's so freaking cute like then I'm gonna get something to go right here. Like I'm not sure which color I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to do like a little white one or if I want to do a black shade. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out. We're done for the night for the most part, and I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. I gotta go move my bed and stuff tomorrow, y'all. I'm so freaking grateful because when you believe in it and you believe for it, the Lord will make it happen. He will make it happen. Point blank period. But all glory to God. Hey y'all. So it is the next day and I just took my bed apart. And y'all, well, I thought I needed a screwdriver, but it just like slide off. Like, I don't know. But I thought I needed a screwdriver, but I didn't. And everything looked like this right now. Like just like this so it's nothing in my dresser y'all and i'm about to go it's like literally nothing in here like well that's underclothes and i gotta take that out but this i just threw those in there because i did laundry one day and yeah but i've been took everything out so but other than that it's really nothing in there i cleaned out the middle part with all my perfumes and stuff so they just sitting there and the rest of the perfumes in the bag and then i still got like stuff over here but some of the stuff I'm like keeping here because I'm giving to my sisters. So yeah. But all in all, like yeah. 
I have to go get the U-Haul so I can move my bed and my dresser and whatever else like I'm gonna put in there just to you know save time later anything else I could just put in my car and take it over there so yeah the big stuff gotta go today because I gotta go back to bed tomorrow and I don't have time for that and I'm trying to be done and I still gotta do laundry for work tomorrow but y'all we gonna have a good day today and we gonna get stuff done I'm waiting on my mom right now so yeah but I'll see y'all so I have the UR as y'all can see and my mom is actually gonna like drive to my place with me you all because i'm i'm not really too big on driving like big cars and stuff like okay y'all so now i am at the storage unit i'm getting the rest of the stuff that i have here and the truck is actually it was actually a lot of space in this truck but it was the smaller truck so i didn't expect everything to fit but it's actually a lot of space left so yeah y'all i am so happy and so grateful like y'all don't understand like i worked my behind off like i'm literally living in answer prayer requests like y'all don't understand that like to be and this whole process has taught me to be patient in that when you're patient the lord will always bless you with more than what you've expected or what you've asked for like i am extremely grateful for this process especially being that i did it on my own baby just me and the lord in the flesh i did it on my own in the spirit it was nothing but god i'm gonna put it that way i want to do this with the lord at the forefront point blank period like i'm just following wherever he just tells me to go like I, mean, I can't even express it in words because I work anybody who knows me I work very hard and I know I said that before but I work very hard to get to where I'm at and that's just not like just with this whole moving situation just the apartment but to have the level of peace maturity that I've grown into and everything like and you know extending myself to others like help they still being able to help others in the process and everything like i'm grateful to be in a position that i am in like allowing the lord to use me in ways and you know speak to others and just show others that anything is anything is possible as long as you put god first like seek him wholeheartedly with your heart and then all other things will be added unto you like there's no other way to put it because i know i could not do this on my own free will because it's just like and i feel as though another thing is just keep things private until it's confirmed yeah i'm just beyond measures like to be able to muscle this up and flesh and do it on my own and just let the lord put his best foot forward for me and fight for me and just lead me and guide me on this journey that has been the most powerful like thing in my life like it has moved me and it has humbled me and it, it just has help me evolve into a much better woman like point blank period and i know i've been going for a while but it's just like baby i feel like this life update was worth that i feel like all the work that i put in it was worth the time off whatever and just focusing on myself and just building my faith and strengthening everything like i just feel as though yeah like baby the lord did that point blank period i'm not gonna say i did it baby the lord did it like because baby without him baby i wouldn't even got out the bed like Y'all, we about to set my bed back up. I got this to go under this carpet, y'all. I got it to go under, like, at the end of my bed. Yeah. This is really done. I just got to make my bed, and then I got to, um, put the TV on the dresser. But... What I'm about to do next, what I'm about to do is unpack all this freaking kitchen stuff after I lay the mats and stuff down in the bathroom. When I picked up this shower head, this handheld shower head, I got it from Walmart, y'all. And it's just the mainstays, like Walmart brand one, and it's five settings. Like, those are settings right there. So, yeah, we gonna go put this stuff down, y'all. And I most likely end up being here tonight because now my bed is here. So if I go home, if I go home, then I don't know. So yeah. 
And I gotta go get the rest of my stuff. Whatever. And the stuff out the bathroom. And I still gotta go do laundry. So, I don't know. I got this little hair catcher thing, y'all. For the tub. So, we gonna put it in there. Cause I don't play like that. I don't play like that. Then we got this here. show you like how to install it and stuff installation instructions so i am about to attempt to change the shower head because it's not even really a shower head y'all if i'm be technical because i showed y'all I mean, what the heck is that brushes right here clean the threads on the shower arm These are kitchen scissors. They're gonna go in the kitchen. But for right now, I'm gonna use them to cut this because I completely forgot I have freaking scissors. But, but. Okay, so now I can put this. Y'all. Oh, I can see the water running through it. It's like clear, but I can see the water running through. Y'all, that's too raw, okay? Like, y'all, I installed a freaking thingy. Like, now we just putting up all the freaking kitchen appliances. Y'all, I got this little Ed thing that go in the fridge. It's so freaking cute. I'm gonna show you. These are the season organizers. This is like spoons, forks, whatever. And then these are chip clips and magnets. Y'all, these things was $3.50 at. I believe I got these from Burnison. This is what the scissors were in. Then I got these mega cups. And that's really about it. Then I got this that's left in this box. soap in it and then it sit on top of this I got these mugs y'all they got bible braces on it yeah, I got this mirror remember that mirror I had from TikTok shop this the mirror so now we I'm gonna put this mirror right here because I feel like that's the base the best place for it to go so let me see how it up I hope my mirror wasn't broken because remember I never opened oh. I'm gonna show y'all in there. Y'all gonna see it. So the mirror, look how the mirror look. 
it's actually nice it's a real nice mirror y'all look and in the room i'll make up the bed when i come back i'll put the mirror up when i come back i make the mirror the tv but yeah other than that and i gotta get my pillows because i left my pillows there but i'll see y'all later because i'm tired and i need to go eat y'all i'm sitting down eating my noodles i'm sitting here eating my noodles y'all take you all back it just feels so weird leaving here going in like this is like it's a big change like a whole new change like, i gotta adjust to things and just find my own way and get used to everything but i have full confidence like i know the lord would not walk me into anything that he don't plan on taking me through himself like and helping me and guiding me and keeping me afloat. Thieves who specialize in robbing criminals. Back then, Elizabeth hired them to steal a flash drive from Willowbury. Ram and Alina won't be easy to replace, but we can't do this, just us. In the meantime, I know someone who can help. Okay, so I'm done here for tonight because I'm tired, honestly, and I still gotta get ready for work. So I'm about to go grab my clothes out the dryer, and pack those, and go so I can get ready for work because I'm exhausted and I'm supposed to go to Walmart to grab like a little bit of food and stuff and right now it is 8.45 like 8.45 yeah I literally just got home like it's like 11.30 something and yeah I am sleepy okay like I'm proud of myself y'all i kicked it i did the dang thing but baby it's time to chill like it's time to relax okay because yeah i'm not trying to like wear my body out i got my freaking eco dot i want like you know the round eco dot but i'm gonna wait because baby yeah, save money okay i don't know how to save money even better because now I have a much bigger responsibility. I, I just keep saying this thing. But now, I feel like that's like the perfect place for that, y'all. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it. But that's like the perfect place for it. It don't look weird. It don't look awkward. Like, it don't. Then I got this paper towel holder right here. I got this little dispenser. It's actually like a regular soap dispenser, but I'm going to use it as a dishwashing liquid dispenser because yeah it just say dispenser so it's fine it's fine uh, um and in my fridge i got like chips syrup bagels bread and then i got some fruits down there and then i got like these little juices some applesauce some lunch meat that thing just keep going some egg the egg container is right there so i put i just to put waters a salad kit. I got Chobani yogurts because y'all don't think it's stopping. Some pot pies. I got a dollar at Walmart. Like, oh, I got a turkey pot by accident, but whatever. And then I got like some meat in here. I'm gonna get a meat plan, but yeah. Okay. And then I got milk for my cereal. And that's like really pretty much it for the most part. Yeah, I need to put y'all on a charger because y'all gonna go do it. And I'm gonna put my bonnet on because I'm tired of my hair being in my face, y'all. And it's getting annoying. It's on the floor right now. But I'm gonna probably get something like to go in this corner so it can like sit up. Or probably put it there because I usually sleep on that side of bed. So I'll probably end up putting it like over there. But I don't know. It depends. Or I just might get like a little small corner table and just leave it here because it's more convenient. I don't, I'm not sure how that'll work. But let me open the TV. Uh, do the TV really quick. Yeah. I'm really not a TV on the wall type of girl. But I feel like maybe I should put my TV on the wall. But we're going to see something. Bro, let me tell y'all. So my, I tried to screw it 
with the It's updating now. Now I'm about to go shower and my camera did so see how I'm gonna get out. So I'm about to shower now and I just got this on. But uh, this my bed already made up. I am watching Blacklist, y'all. But I'm about to end my night that way and eat my cereal. But I just want to say all in all that this whole experience, this whole journey has been one for the books, y'all. It's definitely been one for the books. And I know I said it a million times before, but I'm extremely grateful and all glory to God. And y'all, I'm just full of, so full of like positive emotion, like to the point where I can just ball out crying. Because it's like when you get to this point where you've worked so hard and everything and you fight get everything that you've been working towards and working for and then you finally get what you deserve and sometimes it's way more than you could have asked for or even thought for yourself it's like it's truly a blessing and i just want to continue to take this journey with god and just see where it leads me like that's my whole mindset this year and just work on myself better myself you know just let go of things let go of people that don't serve me and that pull me further away from the lord and just find my way with things and people and good habits that'll bring me closer to him and just live a life that he would be proud of and you know satisfied with you know a very righteous life and you know of course i still have a lot to work on i still have a lot of things like you know a few nicks cranny little quirks to work out but it's it's fine it's okay because it's not a sprint it's definitely a marathon it's it's a journey and i'm just proud to just be on this journey honestly and i pray for the best so i'm gonna end the night i'm not sure if this vlog will end here or not but if it does i just want to say always be kind to others y'all know i'm strong on that and we gonna see this journey go like i'm gonna be consistent even if it's the smallest vlog and even if it's the smallest post because i know that i have a lot of creativity and a lot of things to put out into the world and i feel like this platform would definitely give me that and i just want to thank you all for supporting me for watching me and just sticking by me you know life is tough things happen setbacks happen everything but where there's a setback baby the setback is just launching you for your breakthrough that's how i see it just always see the positive in everything thank you all love you all and have if a you knew me then you'd believe me now you turned my whole life upside